Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Edgar's Makeup and today we're going to be doing a Farrah Moan inspired look. This is the look right here that I saw on Farrah's Instagram and I was honestly totally blown away by. The whole outfit, the face, the crystals, everything about it. I am obsessed with so that is the look we are going to be recreating today. So without further ado, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I would really appreciate it and also give me a big thumbs up so I know you liked the video. All right, let's get started. So, first things first, my brows are already done. I kind of tried to do them like Farrah, very like detailed and feathery, but I have really full brows, so clearly that was not going to work with me. Um, so I just went ahead and did my normal brows, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my eye primer. I'm starting with the eyes, just because I didn't practice this look or anything, and I don't know how messy it's going to get. I don't think it'll be very messy, but just in case. So I'm starting off with the Benefit Professional, no wait. This isn't the professional. This is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. I've really, really been loving this primer because of how easy it is to apply. I'd say the color is very, very similar to the MAC Soft Ochre, which I like also am obsessed with, but this one is just a lot quicker. You can just paint it on and you see how fast you get an eye base. There are two colors for this, but I am using the lighter one. There's one that's a little bit darker too. So I'm going in with another layer and that's only because um, we're doing a sort of like cut crease ish look and I want my eyelids to be completely blinked out so we could really create that illusion. So for shadows today I went ahead and selected a couple of my faves from Makeup Geek. I put them in a little Makeup Geek palette right here and these are the shades that I'll be using. Pretty wearable so I'd say that this isn't just like a drag look. This is a everyday look. So the first shadow I'll be using is the lighter shade which is White Lies and I'm just going to be putting that all over. So just go ahead and pack this on. Don't be afraid to do a thousand layers. Just think of it as the thousand layers of base color challenge. Just pack on that white shadow. Going in with a fluffy brush and I'm taking the second shade. This is my all-time favorite transition shade. It's called Peach Smoothie. And I am going to just put that all over. And trust me, you guys, this look is way easier than it looks. You just have to believe, just have to pray, hope for the best, and blend, and it'll happen. <laughs> but you want to make sure you already start to pull out your shadows outwards over this way. So that way we can create the smoked out, pulled out effect a lot easier with the shade called Chickadee and this shade is just going to add a little more of a pop to the eyes you can see compared to this eye to that eye I'm also going to bring it a little more towards the inside as well just because we brought the transition shade in too so we're doing the same with the Chickadee shade next on that brush that I just used for the Chickadee I'm going in with the shade Morocco. And with this shade, you don't wanna bring it as outwards as you did with the Chickadee. You wanna keep it just a little bit lower. Just go ahead, adding this in, but this time you can see I'm not using that much of like a swiping motion. It's more just packing it on towards the outer corner. Mm. I know we look crazy, but I promise it'll come together. <laughs> and I'm picking up a little bit of chickadee on my fluffy brush and starting from the inner part, we are going to just kind of diffuse everything one more time. Next, I'm taking probably my all time favorite shade, the Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. One of the first Makeup Geek shades I ever used and it's what made me fall in love with Makeup Geek so I'm going to be using it today. This time I'm using a different brush and again just starting on the outer corner and just like all the other shades the next time we add a new color we're keeping it lower and lower. So you can see with the darker shades the darker and darker I go it's less and less of this and more of kind of just little little motions to blend everything out now with the cocoa bear shade you don't want to bring it past maybe like right here so not all the way in but almost all the way in I'm taking a little tiny fluffy brush like this 
And I'm going to be picking up the shade Americano. I'm putting that starting on the outer corner. Just starting here and blending it outwards. For these darker shades like the Cocoa Bear and the Americano and the Black Corrupt shade that I'm about to go in next, you want to do more of like literally that V shape to start getting the pulled out effect. Otherwise, it'll just stay rounded. So pull them out just a tiny bit. So there you go. This is with Americano and without Americano. So you can see we're just adding darker and darker shades essentially and creating the really, really nice gradient. And once we have all of this gradient done, we can go in with a little bit of concealer just to give us that cut crease effect. And we're pretty much done with the look. So it's not that hard, you guys. This is super, super easy. That sort of cut crease illusion that Farah does, we are going to go in with this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. This is the number 20. Using a flat brush like this and picking up the lightest shade in the palette. This is a cream product, by the way. Just going to go ahead and carve out my crease like a cut crease. Because my eyes are hooded, it's really easy for me to see where this goes. Well, it's actually, <laughs> wait, just kidding. It's harder to see, but I'm kind of used to it. If you guys have hooded lids, just follow what I'm doing. If you guys have deep set eyes or just normal eyes, just follow your normal um, crease, your socket. If you don't have a socket like me, just follow what I'm doing. I'm basically just looking straight forward into the mirror and right above where my eyelid fold is where I'm bringing the concealer to. So now I'm just going in and bringing in some more product. Now again, the other eye, same process. I'm looking straight forward into the mirror and just following right above my lid. So after you added in the concealer, this is what you should look like. And for the outer part, you don't want to bring it out too much. Kind of just pat towards the edges to sort of help blend them out. Okay, cool. So now I am going to be taking a flat brush and I'm going back in with the white lights shade from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to set that concealer all over. Pat, pat, set all of that concealer. And you can see it's already starting to come together. So yay, just coming out really good. I'm going to take a really, really, no, JK. A really tiny flat brush and go in with that Americano shade just on the top of where we just did that socket. Just buff that out. I'm taking finally that corrupt shade on a smaller pencil brush than we previously used and we are adding it on the outer corner and with this shade this is the only shade that you definitely don't want to kind of not, blend. you do want to have it blended out, but you don't want to put it all over the place. You can see I'm putting it in a very, very concentrated area, which is just the outer corner. And going back in with that brush that has Americano on it and lightly buffing out those edges of the black. So I can understand why a lot of people are scared to use black shadow, but I'm honestly obsessed because black shadow is the ultimate defining shade. So if you're not using black on a look like this, it definitely won't be as intense and definitely not as detailed. So if you're doing this maybe for daytime and you don't want it to look so dramatic, stay away from the black, but if you want it to look dramatic, add a lot of black <laughs> and to use the matte cosmetic brush stroke liner in the shade brush black and just aligning the top of my eyes okay so these are the eyes pretty much done i just went ahead and did a little bit of liner on the top of the eyes and now i am going to clean up on the bottom 
So I'm just using a normal like makeup wipe and I am cleaning up all of the fallout. There are the eyes pretty much done. Um, I, well, just kidding, not pretty much done. The bottom part of the eyes will come after I do my face. So I'm just going ahead and do my normal face routine, highlight, contour, everything in between. And I'm going to come back, show you guys how I do the bottom portion of the eyes, attaching the crystals as well as the bottom lashes. So now it is time for the fun part. All we're going to do is basically smoke out the lower lash line, kind of tight lighten it with a little bit of black, add some crystals, lower lashes, and that is the look. Do not be scared to go super smoky with this because look at how dramatic the top of the eyes are. Um, so yeah, don't be scared to go smoky with the Cocoa Bear. Using a MAC 212 brush, I'm taking Americano and I am smoking out the lower lash line. And finally, after we did Americano, I'm going to go in with Corrupt just a tiny bit. This is the blackest black I've ever owned or seen. So be really careful with this. And with this, you actually just want to stamp it and get it as close to the lash line as possible. Today, I will be doing top and bottom lashes. So I want my top lashes to be just as dramatic as the bottom ones. So I'm going in with my favorite New Bound Some Lashes. These are the style Russian Black. And look at how gorgeous these are. These are super long, super dramatic, super wispy. They are amazing. Not to mention, New Bansom makes my other favorite lash, the Bella Lash. Today, I wanted a little more drama. So these are New Bansom Russian Black. I do have a discount code. I'll leave it right here on the screen and on the description bar in case you guys wanted to pick these up. You can use my discount code, Edgar, and you will get a little bit of a discount. So my lashes dry I'm going to go in line my lips I'm using the Mac world lip liner you can see how big of a difference these make super super dramatic super I love it I don't know I'm obsessed <laughs> both lashes on now it is time for bottom lashes these are the lashes I'll be using today I tried to like actually find these in store, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I had to make them myself. If you guys want a little tutorial on how to get these lashes, these were actually top lashes that I made into bottom lashes. I cut them and customized them. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, please let me know in the comments down below and I will gladly make a video on that for you guys. Farah usually does about three or four individuals. I've seen her do like five a couple times. But most of the time she does three or four. So I'm going to do four today. And you want to make sure you're leaving a little bit of a gap in between each. Because remember we are putting in crystals. Leave a little gap in between each of the lashes. All I'm doing is I put a little bit of duo on the back of my hand. And I dip a little bit into them. And then just. So there we go. Those are the lower lashes. And now it's time for the Swarovski crystals. These are the crystals right here. I got these off of Amazon as well as the lashes that I just did on the bottom. I got them all off Amazon. So all of that will be linked down below for you guys. To get them on there, really, really perfect. I find that it's easier just to dot. So I'm going to dot right in between each of the individual lashes and also on the inner corner because we're putting a crystal there so you have to be really really quick you guys because this glue dries super fast crystal number one okay that's one crystal and then crystal number three So, ta-da! There you guys go. So now, let me just go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm really, really obsessed with it, honestly. I, this is, I don't know, this is probably one of my favorite looks ever. I'm not sure if it's the crystals, the lower lashes, or what it is. 
but I am honestly super, super obsessed. So yeah, this is how you achieve pheromones look so that is today's tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you do recreate this look please make sure to send it to me over on snapchat dm it to me on instagram twitter whatever i'm all over the place under at edgar's makeup and also if you guys wanted to pick up any of the products that i used today i will link them down in the description bar down below for you guys and yeah that's pretty much it for you guys please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time bye